Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. I was in the process of oh, we're saying goodbye to Rita, right? Edmund, okay, saying, and Rita is selected too? Wait a minute here, what's going on? I guess they are both gone. Okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway, between episodes, I was about to move all of these. And I made a discovery that I thought, you know, I'll just go ahead and do this on camera so you can see it too. I thought I was going to have to click one, hit the move button, go all the way up there, place it, come all the way back here and do this 60, would have been 70 times. Hello. Yeah, pause. Oh, we finally have the big evergreen tree. <laughs> I planted those up there last episode and realized that these are the little ones. So, yeah, okay. Anyway, I thought I was going to have to do this 80 times and I just found out that I can select this and hit move and I can click this 80 times and it will keep track of everything down there Wow yeah we're a little wonky on some of them but uh, let's see so they're gonna they're gonna come in through here probably hug the fence and it's hard or careful placing these because they can sit in the centers the corners anywhere so a lot of I keep hitting the shift button which freezes up and won't let me move back and forth I've been playing mountain core mountain core scrolls really slowly hold the shift button it goes faster so now I'm in the habit of running the running it with the shift button and that is causing stranded to have problems so they're going to turn the corner and drift diagonal into this corner and then they're going to drift into this corner over here that's my best guess. We'll overlap a little there and there. And probably going to be hugging the fence line over here. And I still have more, a lot more traps to put in. Okay, so they're going to want to damage these fences as much as possible. I have no idea how many. Do I any way of knowing how many more? Nope. So they're going to want to damage that. They're going to want to damage this. But I don't know if the flame is going to damage the traps. I'm really not sure. So let's, looks like that's as close as I can get. It's still accepting it, so I'll keep placing them. And we'll put them in between the big booms, although the big booms are probably gonna destroy these things, aren't they? They might. Now yeah, if they do, they do. We have more scrap metal. And there it is, okay. So I wanted to get these out of alignment, but eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, well, I got all those, well, placed, not moved. Then, do we tear this guy down for parts? Let's not do it yet. We'll go ahead and get this episode going. There we go. Carter is still, from last episode, bringing in the, the last of the meat. That Pankoth was eating some there. I see Carter just took it right out of his jaws. <laughs> so we've got a couple out here to, left to butcher, and these guys to butcher. Um, Rita, Carter, and Edmund all have hunting, and they would have uh, gone out there and hunted, except that Rita and Edmund are gone, so now it's all on Carter, unless I sign somebody. Um, you know, I think I will, just to get... What's that, Umar? What you doing? You are eating. You're just finishing eating. Your happiness is on its way to there. So, yeah, you come on out here and butcher these guys and anybody else. And you can even grab these too. Okay, so you're on butchering duty. And Kana is probably... Well, Kana could be transferring the traps. She could. There you are. Yeah. She's good at carpentry. And I'm pretty sure that... I think this is a deconstruction or reconstruction job on carpentry rather than a deliver job or a handle job. Gets a little confusing here, but I think moving things is tearing them down and rebuilding them. So, um, what I'm pausing here is do I tell Kana temporarily to, or do I tell all of them temporarily to construct? I could put an artificial one on all of them and just get them out there. Let's see, backwards is the other. No. We'll leave Rita how she was. She's not here. Paulette, I'm going to leave for the food. Carter's already there. Okay. So all the rest of you guys, yeah, just go haul traps today. Except for Paulette, 
Keep making food, please. Food never seems to keep up. We're at two fruitcakes. That is it. When Rita gets back before spring hits, I guess I should have her just work in the, uh, the cook stoves. In fact, let's set that up now before it's forgotten about. Rita, or we did last time, right? So she harvests ranches and plants, and then she drops into... Well, I don't know if that's her first two, or if it comes back around again. If it does, then it's heal, hunt, and then it's the first two. Okay, so she will cook now when there's no planting to do. Simon is moving a trap, and that worked. I set him to construction, and they're both moving traps. Okay, so that is a construction thing. Umiar, though, has previous orders, and Carter is holding his head, and he's dying. I don't think he ever went to bed. Carter, oh man. Carter's about had it. He's going to break on me any time. So, Carter, why don't you... You're trying to go and get some more meat that got left over here. Yeah, why don't you grab some bread if there... No, there isn't any. Okay. Probably no meals whatsoever, huh? Yeah, you can eat pickled vegetables just to get some food in you. And then I'd say you need to go to bed. Okay. Anybody else not sleep last night? Uh, that's fullness. Everybody else got a good night's sleep. Carter worked through the night. Okay. And Rita and Edmund are probably sleeping while they're traveling. Okay, so Carter, you go take care of yourself. Umayar is going to handle the rest of the meats. And I just hit the shift button again and I couldn't move. Yeah, I'm going to... Playing two games doesn't work for me. <laughs> Might work for some of you guys, but... Every game has its own set of controls, and as you get older, your brain can only handle one set at a time. <laughs> so I am enjoying that mountain core. It's, it's, if you haven't seen those videos, it's a newer game. It's kind of a Dwarf Fortress-like game, but it's a lot simpler, a lot more enjoyable to play, a lot, more, a lot less complicated to play. Even RimWorld has gotten quite complicated. You know, early RimWorld was a lot of fun. Then they started introducing all of these new systems and religions and what have you and nobles and it got to where it was a lot more complicated, a lot more demanding. And to me it became less fun. Well, Mountain Core is where RimWorld used to be at the beginning right now. I think that's why I'm enjoying it so much. It reminds me of back at Alpha 8, Alpha 10, 12, 13 of RimWorld. Expedition complete. Oh, we had a couple things going on here. Big evergreens. Yeah, we found the big pine trees. Okay. Expected to, fi to find pine cones or some nuts, but it looks like this tree produce reproduces through growths on its trunk, which eventually explode, mind your eyes, and send seeds in all directions. Okay. I've chopped off some of them for future planting. So, that is these guys there they are so looks like a pine tree to me and then all right military ship crash site searching the remains of the military ship for useful things is a bit tricky the whole thing is very corroded and falling apart easily still i found one of the ship's many armories and pulled out a functioning high-tech weapon wonderful all right so kind of the same drill we've done this before she left here Rita, bring him back. Okay, I think I'm done with these. That's another uh, laser pistol. We have a lot of those now. Okay, I think we're done with that that uh, that trip. It is paid out. All is going to pay. And Edmund, you are three hours left until you get there. Okay. I like to send them out right after an attack because we've got oh three or four game days. To not uh, worry about being attacked again. Though we could still be attacked in other ways, like a whole bunch of hungry pests suddenly uh, land on us, start eating our crops or something. We'll see if they do that in the winter. Well, wintertime, I guess they'd be even hungrier. Um, Umiar, can you get that last one there? Yeah, that's one more there. Okay, then that is the last of those. Bug meat gets turned into fuel, which hasn't been done in a long time. How is our fuel? Fuel is where? Craft? 260. Okay. Hearing noises. 
Oh, that is butchering noises, right? Yeah, you're, you're being really wet and sloppy. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Okay, so these guys are pretty much just going to do this for the what's going to feel like the rest of their lives. Yeah. I wondered if it was worth just throwing away the scrap metal, building new ones, and then just demolishing all of these. We'd only get half the scrap metal left, but we'd get so much more work out of them. Boy, I'm starting to wonder about my decision there. If I did that, because it's just taken so long, I can disarm them. So if I do it from this end, can I... Oh, I'm hitting the shift button again. Can I cancel them? Ah, boy. Construction sites. Traps. Disarm. Construction sites. I can cancel orders. Are there any other construction sites? I guess I gotta do this really carefully. Right there. We, had, we didn't get into that one. That's just these. So these construction sites, if I canceled that... Yeah... I think it might be wiser not to do this. Really do. That is a lot of labor. I'm gonna take them out of commission for probably close to three days time they're all done. All that walking. One trap at a time. Yeah, I think that's a call I'm gonna make. Grab all the traps and let's deconstruct them all. Okay, that will get us back a bunch of the of the sheet metal scrap metal then we'll just do this again yeah it doesn't look like I've actually done much when we started we had that group around the corners that's about it so I don't think they made many trips okay let's do this again defense traps all right so let's lay these out oh I've got to hold the shift button so copy there we go hold the shift button and they're gonna swerve over through here that's right I don't have to click each one individually okay so we'll do one more right there then oh I see what I'm doing click so copy so it's just a matter of there to there and click okay all right so from this corner like so like there to there they swerve diagonal through maybe grab that one nope oh, just that one thank you and then in like that and then protect the fence line and protect the fence line and possibly sacrifice all of these to these mines right here and I think that is more traps than we'll ever need or have the time to reset but I know those those final attacks get pretty intense I'm curious to see these guys actually used and then we'll decide whether we want to clear some more space and use more of them but that should work there so Carter you are rest what time is it three in the afternoon that may be enough to get you going get you to to bedtime again so let's have you your fullness is decent let's have you play an instrument Carter and play actually a do it this way play there we go and maybe even just sit for a while to kind of bring that zero up to maybe here then I'd say let's get to work well I don't know what to get to work doing if I wait Simon may deliver all the scrap metal before he gets there so let's have him instead get this staircase going reserved by Kana oh because she's now on construction Okay, um, hmm, let's change Kana over to electronics for a while, that may be a wise move, Kana, you're down here, 
and turn off your construction. We'll make it a three so you can get back into these guys. Actually, you can make it a two, but your ones are over here. Tailor and assemble, and we'll turn the tailor back up to a two and get you back into assembling. Okay, so Kana, where are you? You were walking back with that, and then you... Okay, so let's draft, undraft, and see if you can go make an electronic. Yeah, right there. So that's something we need to get caught up on. We're going to need electronics plus the power cells, I'm guessing, for some of those weapons. Okay, so Simon could... Oh, Simon needs to be taken back off of construction, too. So, Simon... Make that, your construction is a zero, so I'll we'll make that back to, say, a five. And who else did we modify? Umayar, you also a five. Your construction is only a one. Okay, so I think that brought everybody back to, we didn't change the other ones, did we? Uh, construction, Carter was already there, Edmund was already there, Kana was, and Rita, yeah, everyone else is fine. Okay, so that is done. Simon is eating. And the Umayar, you are transporting. You just finished hauling all the meat in, except you didn't get that one. Okay, maybe Carter, maybe Carter will. If I don't assign him to anything. Oh, nope, he's, he's still got it. He's going to take care of it. Okay. Uh, Carter is relaxing. Where is he now? He's still got a long way to go. I don't want to waste too much of the day on that. So Kana's going to work on that. Simon is transporting more food. Good. So, ancient alien ship. And that's going to be interesting. I just got to thinking that the fruit pies, fruit cakes, whatever he's holding, take berries. I thought we were pretty much done with berries. I don't see the icon in any of the shelves anymore. So that's probably the last fruitcake that's coming out of there. Anyway, what do we got? Edmund. The alien ship is emitting an automated distress message. The message tells the story of an ancient terraforming fleet that reached the planet many millennia ago. It is not clear what were their objectives or whether the fleet managed to complete them. I see nothing further of use here. That's it? Edmund gets discovered ancient civilization pleasure. He gets a mood boost after five days of research? <laughs> what? I want a refund. <laughs> oh, boy. Expeditions, military, it was sitting right here. Maybe it'll let us go back and get something else out of it later? I don't know. That's wild. Okay. Yeah. So, Simon, I was curious about you. You are transporting wood. Can I get you to um, construct the traps? In which case, you should grab scrap metal. Oh, there's a bunch over here, too. Yeah, he just grabbed a whole bunch of scrap metal. So if I can get him to start laying things out, Carter is going to... It says transporting. Carter is transporting. Do I don't understand. Tell me we're not moving traps manually again. Okay, let's see what this is all about. <clears throat> Unless you are finishing a transport job that... You're transporting meat. <laughs> Because he's got the hunter job queued up. Okay, that's the last of the meat then. Right? Transporter. I mean, that sounds like deliver, but it's also the end of a hunt. Hunt, and then heal, construct, which is what I think he's... No, hunt is what he's doing. Yeah, his delivery's clear over here at the end of a bunch of twos. Okay, that must be what's going on there. It's unfortunate, but that's fine. Umar is transporting too. Okay. But Simon's doing the uh, the heavy lifting here. He is delivering. Now, Simon, why don't you 
construct this one. I mean, that's kind of in the middle of this whole group. Maybe you'll bring enough metal to do everything over here. Then I can get you to construct these, and you'll just be delivering all those. Rita is on her way back, and she could bring the gun in. She's in good shape otherwise. She's going to go play the didgeridoo after she hauls laser pistol. Okay. Okay. So these all need to be torn down. I wonder which one Carter would do first if I didn't... Oh, there's my answer. If I didn't tell him to do anything. Apparently deconstruct is before construct. That makes sense. I'm going to tear the stuff out so you can put the... No, 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 no. <laughs> and if I don't let him do something, he's going to stop after every one of these. Go play darts for a while. And then get back to deconstructing. Okay. And that'll finish off your day. Okay, so Simon is bringing more of that. Omiar is appreciating a torch. Kana is transporting her completed electronic. Nice. And she is... That's Rita. Kana, she's eating. Okay. Now, Rita, you're playing the didgeridoo. It is... 2100. Could I get you instead to... I can still cook fruitcake. What the heck is a recipe for fruitcake? Fruitcake? Okay, how many berries do we have left? Is that there? Yeah. There's still 36 bush fruit somewhere. Okay. Well, it's the only thing it'll let me do. Interesting. Cook fruitcake. Okay. I guess we're just going to do the fruitcake. But I want her to help Paulette get some more meals in before bedtime. And she can relax in the morning, or I wonder if sleep adds any relaxation. Carter's playing darts. Now you're happy. A shooting star. Finally something to go after. Meteor with a long trail blazed in the sky and fell not too far from camp. Could be a small piece of debris or a genuine meteorite. Um, that is over there. Shooting star not too far from the camp. Is that real? There we are. We have five days to do it. And it's only three hours away. So I'd say we're definitely doing that one. That's a quick, easy one. So that would be an Edmund job. Because it's probably going to be bringing ore back. And we could certainly use the ore. Okay. Um, this one would be nice to get done soon. He is available. We don't have... Four. Okay, so tomorrow let's get these ovens up and running. Though, hmm, Carter's sleeping. Maybe I send Carter around on that one. He's got as much physical as Edmund does. So let's get somebody before you guys all go to bed uh, to refuel this balloon. I guess I could just get Carter to do it on, on his way out. He's going to bed right now. And he probably needs it. He didn't really get caught up. Yeah, he's pretty low. Okay, so Carter can go hit that shooting star. Eben can come back and then take over the construction duties. Otherwise, what are we doing? We are we are relaxing. You know, we haven't had a music night in a long time. I wonder if that's a certain time of year and not just a random event. Well, Paulet is handling a furnace. Oh. Thanks, but I think that's why we don't have enough food. You need to stop doing that. All right, so you are no longer going to handle anything. Handling, Paulette, right there, is a five. Oh, that's deliver. Handle as well. You are just going to cook from now on. You're handling a diesel generator. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> Oh, that's right. There was a comment to check to make sure this guy was on the right circuit. Ah, okay, you're right. Yep, I missed that one. So you're circuit one. Okay. And it's been days since I've looked at my, my mail and my comments, so I've forgotten who even left the comment, but thanks anyway. Yep, I didn't... Even, that's the first time I've even noticed this generator since we built it. I built that middle of last episode. So, oh, Paulette 
can you handle it now that can you actually do the handling that's needed there we go that should turn it off it should only be running when this switch says we're we're less than 70 percent and we are at 100 percent okay so we've probably been there for a long time uh other generator fuel fuel's good on both of them she topped them all off okay this one needs 30 fuel simon's going to sleep and Carter, when you're done, your first job is to refuel it. Never mind. Edmund's first job right now is to refuel it. Okay, Edmund, can you... On the way. Edmund can't refuel it because he's on the way. Refuel. I don't understand that little note. That's different. Carter wasn't on the way, though he was assigned, but he was sound asleep. Hmm. Don't know what that means. But let's see if he does more than one. Did he grab 60 or 30? He grabbed just the 30 and that's enough. So Carter can leave on that one tomorrow. Edmund can go to bed. Yep, he's going to sleep. Though, to be honest, he will be awake probably faster than Carter. Huh. Carter, your physical now is 7, your construction is 9. Edmund, your physical is 6, your construction is 6. How close is Edmund's physical? Ah, uh, there. He's 6.5. Carter is 7.5. Carter could haul more back, but he can get a lot more construction done too at a construction 9. I think we'll do Edmund. So, Edmund, when you're up, you get to go back out. Hit that shooting star and see what that's all about. All right. Nighttime. What to do? That lull between excitement. Let's go take a trip around and see if anything new has moved in. Nothing immediately. I don't see any chicken patrols. I haven't seen many chickens in a long time. They don't last long. <laughs> they go pick on something. Then they get beat up for it. Yeah. You took out a Pankoth. Oh, Pankoth is taking out a Pankoth. we got four over here. Though they're so separated, I'm kind of wondering if there's two different groups of two. Hmm. So back over here around this bend. we got another chicken over here. There's a nest. And another pack of four. Okay. What are you guys called again? You are a broadleaf bush. Hmm. There we go. You're a Gujo. Oh, that's right. That's not the first name I would have picked for you guys. Gotta say that. Uh, some of these guys, the Drakas, are sleeping. Dawn is coming. Anything around our pond over here? No, pretty calm. Another Draka. A couple of them. Okay, so who's up? Edmund. I don't know where he is. You were over here eating. Okay. So you're just sitting down. Rita's with you. These helmets are all going to look the same before long. Yeah. Too bad they can't put their armor on before a battle. That's a big to-do to make that happen. Rita's going to cook. No, she's going to harvest. Okay. It is 32 degrees out, right at freezing. Huh. Okay. Well, all right then. Uh, Edmund, what do you need? You could use some serious relaxation. So, Edmund, you are appreciating a shroom torch. When you're done, you're going to come sit and relax for a little while. And then you're going to be ready to go. In fact, I think I can go ahead and set the expedition orders. You are this way. There. You, Edmund, and send. And Edmund is still doing his relaxing. Good. So, but I did cancel my sitting. Yeah, I got rid of that one. So, hopefully you get it. Good. No, you're already leaving. So, Edmund, let's have you sit for a while. 
and get that up beyond 40%. That's not enough. All right, so Carter is handling a hot air balloon because I already asked him to. That's right. So let's get some folks in here and get these things up and the rest of this up and going. So Simon is fine once he's done with that. I want you to make fuel. Ah, uh, no, you're faster. So, well, yeah, this is a lot more walking. Okay, so you are still. I'm going to pause a second. So you are going to ferment. Yeah, you can do all of these. As far as I know, I haven't heard of any updates to this game to where they can do all of them at once. And we'll get someone else like Kana who is transporting. So she just she just did another one. Good. And your fullness, you can grab. Now eh, you can go without food for a little bit. Let's get this going. Right there, let's get uh, seven of these going. You're using it all up anyway. Then you'll be good and hungry for I think 50% is not enough to actually warrant a whole meal. I think uh, they hit 100% and they still have part of the meal left. I should probably get down closer to 40% before I feed them. Okay, you are still sitting at 100%, so we're, we're good. We're good on power. We will need to run these guys again for a long time. In fact, we could even put some more lights in these places and you know, make this look a little better. Do we want lights in the bedrooms? But they stay on all night long when they're sleeping. That's why I'm wondering. Edmund just left. We, though, could put a light over this guy. Where's our light? Right there. Copy you and drop you. Oh, in the corners. It's away from the bed. Eh, why not? Right there. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. There. There. And then over here. Let's see... Yeah, there, there, and there. All right, lights are going in. Not immediately, though. Insufficient uh, alloy. Yeah. Carter's deconstructing traps. Going to make a lot more scrap metal. Scrap metal's at 270. Don't know if Simon... Well, it looks like he did get it all delivered. Yeah, everything's purple. Okay, now it's just a matter of waiting for them to build it. All right. And what did you need? You needed a CPU core and 10 metal alloy. Okay. So once the furnaces get done, that is a con of thing, and she's delivering the last of what's in there, I I think. Where does she transport that to? Oh, she's going to go drop it into each of the individual light fixtures. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. One each, so you're doing four at a time. All right, I won't fault you there. <laughs> Just not what I expected. You'll drop it off in a stockpile and get to work. <laughs> okay. Is there any reason to go off on another expedition? I don't think so. I think we've got all of the biggest questions answered. Yeah, the other one is gone. The only other thing I'd say is what is our last what is our next explore, but I don't want to get I don't want to lose Rita for that long. We've got things to do and I want to get ahead on cooking for once. I mean we're not too far from spring, so let's give her a couple of days of just cooking and see what she can or has she even cooked yet? She's been working on harvesting. Where is Rita right now? You are now planting. So we got warm enough. 50 almost 50 degrees so she's starting early on spring and now to be honest I'll take it expedition complete I found a deformed metal chunk where the meteorite fell it was probably a piece of some spaceship I'll try to salvage it for some scrap metal scrap metal okay it is what it is and that will make up for what we've used up here and we'll just turn it into uh, into alloy. Probably not a lot of more scrap metal to be used, except maybe some of these guys. If I copy you... No, you're alloy. So... Traps are, I guess, some of the few things that uh, we'd use scrap metal for. Hmm. Okay. Just, I don't remember what we used to make these guys. Copy. That is alloy also. That's what these look like compared to the wooden poles. Kind of nice. 
Yep, that does it. Kind of bolt it all together like a big erector set. <laughs> yeah, looks good. Okay, so we never got access to better solar panels, did we? It wasn't... Uh... Oh, we were working on the improved pulse rifle. Research. Yeah, where's power? What would power be under? Uh, completed. Be under... Power. <laughs> right there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, nothing new has popped in since we saw last time. Um... No, I just don't see anything there that I'd really want to spend time researching. Okay. If there's anything you really want to see, let me know. We are working on these guys next. Hydroponic racks, electric smelting, and force field barriers. So that is going to be coming soon. We'll play with those a little bit. Um... So what else is happening? Carter's constructing stairs. He's done? He's done. So we could haul a bunch of scrap metal up. All laying around out here. Uh, Simon is transporting more of the alloy. I had him doing this, so... Apparently he took over Kana's job. Kana is where now? Kana, oh no, she's still handling the furnaces. So how does Simon get a hold of... Oh, he's just doing random jobs, I guess. Okay. So if you're going to do that, then I will give you a job. Come on over here and haul scrap metal. And hopefully you'll walk around that whole place and pick it all up. Okay, so Carter is constructing these guys. I guess just because either they're older or they're closer, rather than these. They were placed first. Here comes Edmund. He will complete the job after he spits out his load of 50 scrap metal. Constructing a turret. Because we have enough alloy. What turret though? That's the only turret that's left. That guy's yellow. So, oh, he just needs three more. I guess the rest has been delivered. I see. Okay, that works. But we are short five. So why is there still some sitting there? Hmm. I guess it just hasn't been hauled to the job site yet. Anyway, so Carter is constructing... Edmund is constructing. Umayar is researching. Paulette is cooking. No, eating. Kana is eating. Rita is planting. And that is the cloth blossom field planted. Nice. And, well, we'll just let her naturally drop into anything else. Uh, Rita can plant. Looks like all of them. Uh... Probably should get her to do the smoke leaf this time. We didn't do that last year. Uh, Rita is getting something to eat. And then let's send her out here, spend her evening working on this. She may not get that finished in time, but she got quite a bit of it done. Just looking to see what plants are still sitting out here. Didn't there used to be a whole bunch of uh, uh, buttermelon out here? Where are we? It was over here. Seems like it was here. These guys? No. Well, with the snow on the ground, you can't really tell. So he is constructing our our missile launcher. So we get to see that one happen before this episode ends. I hope. Still got quite a bit of a bar there. Oh, there it is. 1900. For some reason. The 2 and the 47 and the 19 and the 80 and 49 and none of it just made sense for a moment there as as time. I guess I was looking for, you know, 19 dot dot 40. Something like that. Alright, Carter is constructing the motion sensor. Good. So that gets our defenses going otherwise. And we really do have a lot of traps installed already. So not like we're hurting there. You are malfunction air conditioner. In the wintertime, that's not a problem. 
Kana, when you're done, can you repair the air conditioner? You go ahead and deliver those unless the air conditioner takes those. What do we got here? Um, air conditioner needs five metal alloy. Um, Kana, break. Do this one instead. Repair now. Using, and do it again. Already doing it. I was hoping you would pick up that alloy you just dropped. Do you still have five alloy on you? Because you were carrying three and there's three there. So what are you using? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Repair the air conditioner. Oh, Simon has got it. Simon transported it. She's repairing it. Tag teaming there. Okay. Now he's going to go fill up a balloon. Tell you, Simon, he, uh, he gets a lot done. He really does. He is everywhere. <clears throat> Rita's planting over here. It is 2100, so 9 p.m. We'll let her go till midnight and see where she, uh, where she ends up. Alright, the tour is almost done. And we will set it for circuit... Here it is, circuit uh, 3. Control circuit 3. And somebody has to actually flip the switch. And then it should turn itself off. We need to set its sphere of influence here, but... Okay, he just turned off. Good. You are going to be attacking the entrance area. So let's target something like, yeah, something like that. Until we get our first attack and see where it really, uh, where they're really coming from. And click out of all that. So that one's done. Paulette is crafting. Okay, something's broken with our uh, our cooking. What is going on here? Do we need a third stove? I mean, this one needs to be unloaded. This one needs to be unloaded. Why is Paulette crafting a spear? Rita wasn't cooking with her. Nobody else has cooking orders. Unless Kana had nothing to do, and I doubt that. She's handling... She is still handling furnaces. Okay. I don't know what to make of that. I really don't. Unless we're just flat out of food. Uh, Paulette. What is with that? Not enough resources for... Are we really, like, out of food? Oh. What? What is actually in here? A bunch of dried meats. Apparently they can't cook anything with dried meats. Um, but we can make meat soups out of the bug meats. We've got that turned off. I bet we do. Let's get a meat pie and click on it. Chew root. Okay, chew root. That's grains. We have lots of grains. So we could be making porridges. There's chew root. But it, it requires red meat only. Okay. So that doesn't help. Uh, grain porridge. Uh, we could be making more of it. Bread is made out of grain and fats. Do we have any fats? I haven't actually seen them making fats in a long time. Um, up here. I guess I have to leave my mouse. Stop moving. There. So no fats. That's probably a biggie right there. Okay. So, hmm. Simon, you are transporting those. Still filling things up, huh? Let's get you instead to... Fats are here. So, vegetable, oil. I guess it could be either. Why don't you... Do that one, and let's have somebody else. Kana, you were doing what? You're you're busy. Umayar, you are researching. Why don't you come out over here and do one of these? Okay, let's get some of that going. Then we can at least be making breads. So how 
This is until we have 40. So what crashed there? What isn't working? Until 40, until 40. <clears throat> hmm. Let's make these 50. It looks like it makes 10 at a time, I'm guessing. We'll find out here. So yeah, we're making 10 at a time out of 20 grain. And that should give Paulette lots to do tomorrow once these two are done. Umayar, where'd you go? Umayar, let's do that, like, now. Okay, you do that now. Simon is transporting... I'm not sure what that is, but let's have him do one more round. And right there. Okay. In fact, we have lots of grains, so... Umayar, where did you end up? Why don't I see you? You're looking for... Let's do this instead. Let's have you do the grain, the vegetable oil. Okay. So we'll save the cloth. And we'll just do vegetable oils. Get Yeah, get that going. So that'll give us 30, and that'll get Paulette cooking again. Rita is still out there, and... She is... She's mostly done. I think I'll just let her finish. Yeah. So you finish that, Paulette sleeping, Edmund sleeping, Carter sleeping, Simon sleeping, Umi are about to sleep, and it's probably time that I did too. <laughs> I think we'll call this one good. Rita's going to head to bed soon, and well, I'll catch you tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.